तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल लुक एट द डेटा टाइप्स एंड मैथ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ऑफकोर्स वी विल लुक एट सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फंक्शन ऑल्सो विच इज इज नॉट अ नंबर फंक्शन विच वी ब्रीफली मैंशन इन द प्रायर मॉड्यूल ऑल्सो तो लेट्स लुक एट द डिटेल्स नाउ वॉट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज द एलिमेंट ऑन विच द ऑन विच द जावा स्क्रिप्ट वर्क प्रोसेस नाउ डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हु यू आस्क एंड देर एक्सपीरियंस एंड देर डेफिनेशन of an object or the data type right somebody might say there are three somebody might say there are six which are integers which are strings which are undefined null and so on we will cover all of them so let's look at the outline of the module coverage over here so we'll give you and we'll look at an example of hexadecimal math we'll talk of the numeric functions and give you two examples for checking is not a number okay is not a number over here and look at the math objects also and there are tremendous uh, facilities are available to work with so let's go into more details so let's look at this web page in a browser so this is the page okay and this is how it will appear so we have two variables defined and the value is set so we have this variable h over here and the variable i over here now remember that these two are hexadecimal these are hex hex numbers and this is 14 over here in decimal in decimal and this is 2 2 in decimal so how do we go about we create a new variable this is the new variable uh this is the new variable and this alert generates this box over here this is in decimal this is in decimal so this dialog box appears so we see that we worked with the hexadecimal math and got the answer which was in a decimal number so i believe you understand this now let's look at something more interesting which is not a number so is not a number is the ECMA definition, and it checks whether the whatever is passed to is not a number. Is that legal? Is that valid? And it generates a true/false value. So, divide by zero is an illegal number. Divide by zero, everybody knows that is undefined. That is very simple. But over here, when we have this string within which double quotes, we have this numeral four. and we have this this string over here within the double quotes okay so how does is not a number works on them so because this will be treated this is a number okay and this is this is this is not a number so how do you interpret them it requires a certain amount of mental yoga as i have mentioned over here because this is going to confirm whether it's a number or it's not a number okay and over here we'll look at some examples to test this two examples and i believe then it will become clear so now let's look at those examples the function is not a number returns false from this expression because the integer value 4 is a number okay this is a number and it returns false okay remember that the meaning of this function is is for for here not a number well four is a number so the result is false okay i believe you understand this so this is the test one now let's look at test number 2 okay so change is not a number function line to read so i i change this line over here and this is the new one i remove this this is the new one new one over here a view the page in a browser or read on the project in visual studio you will see a page like this in second test case because the number 4 is represented as a string of non numeric characters 4 f o u r the function returns true the string 4 is not a number okay now you should understand this the difference which is over here 
so the not of number function is used frequently when validating input to determine whether something may be from variables was entered as a number or as a text so this helps in validation helps in validation also so this four they are not same as f o u r okay or f o u r i believe things should be clear now so numeric constants and math objects so table 1 shows these math objects this is fairly understandable max value min value negative and so on and over here this generates random number okay and it can also there are pi values also absolute values power which we used in cube me also and rounding so we see there there are lot of functionality a lot of numeric constants and math objects are there and you may not be using them now but they are there for you to use and for you to make benefit of these math objects and constants so that is all for this module